do this. So, muscle and strength, what's going on? It is 6.30 in the morning. We are getting ready to head over to the Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym Superstar Seminar. And I'm doing something you guys never see me do this early. I can barely keep my eyes open. Um, but I'm making my breakfast because we got to get on the road sooner than later. We got to be up there um, to be able to train. And the seminar starts at 1 o'clock. So, what I want to do is get my breakfast ready because you guys know I do intermittent fasting somewhat. My last meal is at 11.30 every single night. My first meal is at three o'clock. So I know you guys wanna see a bodybuilder eat, but you're gonna see a bodybuilder cook and then eat later. So I'm gonna get my breakfast started. So something that I do, but not with eggs. Pam is still the OG when it comes to eggs. However, what I do a lot of times is I take some olive oil Okay, and I fill it up. I have one olive oil. <clears throat> I have you to look in here. I have one that's coconut. Okay, shout out. I got a bunch of Wicked Cuts jerky. Shout out to my boy, best friend, Branch Warren. I got Sean Vasquez, very, very close friend of mine. All his pride foods, nut butters. Um, and if you got look up top, I got a ton of pride foods. This is my daily morning rice and grinds right here. This is a blueberry muffin. We're going to be having this today, but uh, the point is what I normally do, but I'm gonna use the pants for anyway, is that I take this and I'll just, I'll spray that. So when I'm making my whole food meals, I'm using bison, chicken, turkey, whatever it is, uh, beef, throw it in there. I heat up the pan with the olive oil. A lot less chemicals, a lot less shit. Two sprays of that, we're talking about a gram or two of fat. It's not that big of a deal. Cooks off anyway. But for the eggs. The coltis tilapia with some Pam. I'll spray my pan with Pam as well. Don't be shy about it. So, one thing I always do, a lot of people fucking don't do this. Very bad thing. Don't put your eggs in the pan before the pan's hot. Turn your pan on, get it super hot. Throw the eggs on, they cook a lot faster and much better. So, and we are going to take out, this was given to me by my training partner. This is a little egg thing, so I put my eggs in that little container and I get everything out. So, we got ketchup. And then what I'm gonna do for you guys today is show you guys the Sister Nino and Sons venison hamburgers. I'm going to make a patty and some eggs and egg whites to go with uh, my breakfast. I've been getting a lot of these venison patties that my dad's been making and throwing me. So um, I like to have one of these patties about, you know, four or five ounces per patty. I'll throw that in with my breakfast and have a little steak and eggs. You guys always see me drinking out of this thing. So this is all, I only drink this stuff right here, which is Bolero. Okay. It's a uh, drink company. It's just a flavored drink mix, gluten-free, sugar-free. Absolutely phenomenal. They have some off the wall flavors. It's some of my favorite stuff to drink. And then the only other stuff I add in um, to my drink is uh, this more hydration, Chris Tuttle, Malaxi Tuttle. Um, they got two, they got sweet tea and lemonade. And I think they got another two flavors coming out soon. So shout out to the Tuttles because that shit's awesome. Now that I'm drinking, first thing I always like to do in the morning, you guys, I post about it all the time. I like to have my glass of water before I start having my coffee. So. Um, why am I drinking tap water? You guys know I live on uh, two and a half acres, so I have my own well water system. So I don't really buy a lot of bottled water. I like to drink my water from the tap because it's not city water. I don't have all that shit in it. 35 grams a scoop. I stay within the 35 gram range. So I just do one scoop. If I want to do 50 grams, I'll take a little more, sprinkle it right on, maybe about a quarter of a scoop, if that. I've been doing this for so long, I don't need to measure the uh, the water with uh, the scale. You do just one scoop of that, just under a cup of water. Make sure it all gets wet before I put this in the microwave. Two minutes, it's very important. You guys gotta watch how this cooks because so many people fuck up cream of rice because they don't touch it. Cream of rice isn't like steak where you want to leave it on the grill. You want to move that shit around. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the proper cream of rice. So people 
obviously I'll often ask me why venison. Venison is very, very lean. I like, um, I like game meat. I like elk, I like bear, I like uh, venison. And especially the venison is very lean. My dad will even argue that venison is possibly even leaner than chicken. Um, tastes very good. It does have a gamey taste to it, but can't overcook venison. Gotta get the middle because what happens is it all starts to move to the middle. So you want to mix this around right in the middle. Put it back in. Now we did two minutes round one, one minute round two. Now in the second round. Multitask. Let's sit for a sec. Love pepper on my eggs. Makes me feel like I'm having them at a diner. What I sometimes use is the uh, everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. And awesome, ran out of it. So it is what it is. Mix this up one more time. See, now we're getting that consistency we want. See that? It's still a little chunky, so that'll smoothen out. Now, so we did two minutes the first time. Stir, one minute, stir. Now. 30 seconds to a minute, you're good. This is actually right at that point where it could possibly boil over. So I'll keep it to 30 seconds. These eggs are fucking finito. These are gonna come on the road with us. Oops, slide on down, baby. We are gonna wild boil these babies up with the spray. See that? Did you miss it? Missed that double fucking scoop. People are like, why are you? Why didn't you make it in that? Or the cream of rice comes out dependent upon the bowl. Use too small of a bowl, it overflows. You use something that heats weirdly, it'll overflow. It'll become a fucking rock. So use a wider, wider bowl like this, and you'll get results like that every time. And for uh, those that live home with their mother and don't want to have a Roy Rage during prep, make sure you put some water in the bowl when you're done, or it's gonna turn into cement. Now, so we got, oh, this is zeroed out, 150 grams of mixed berries. Do about four ounces, which is going to be obviously more, but I mean, it's going to be, we're going to have some leftovers right now. Best ketchup, if you guys live near a Wegmans, Wegmans organic tomato ketchup. So I like to start my mornings off the right way, and that's with cup of coffee. You guys know I'm a Starbucks guy, um, <clears throat> but I got, I had this Nespresso sitting in my closet for damn near three years. Never used it, took it out one day, used it in the morning, and I don't know if I'm more addicted to the routine of the coffee or the actual coffee itself, but I love waking up and uh, <clears throat> getting my day going and having a cup of coffee. So the routine is a cup of coffee now. Sometimes I switch out the mug, um, I don't know why I do that, but sometimes I like this mug for upstairs. I like a handle mug for downstairs. Um, what I'll do is I'll do um, a cup of coffee now, do this, get the dog's food ready, feed them, take my elk carnitine from Cutler Nutrition, and then I make another cup of coffee, make my aminos, and then I go downstairs. So this is cup one of two, and then I'll have two cups, and then I have one cup during the day, which is my Starbucks cup. That's all the coffee that I do. So we have protein, whole eggs. We also have the fat from the yolk. Then you have the venison, lean source of protein. And then we have 35 grams of carbs from Pride Foods Cream of Rice, 150 grams of mixed berries. We have some Hershey Zero flavored uh, drizzle there with chocolate syrup on it. And that is how I start my breakfast. But the other part of my breakfast, okay, not only does it require food, but it requires the things that I don't get from food. 
which is my vitamins. So this is my little vitamin chest. I get so many messages about this. If you guys have a container store near you, this is all it is. It's in the section where they can sell the beads. So I don't know the name of it. Um, I don't even know what it's made by, but it's from the container store. So as you can see, I come in here. I got a very different vitamins from Blackson Labs, HD Muscle, um, Astro Flav. There's a lot of stuff in here that these companies send me that I utilize. So this is Glycolog, Blackstone Lab, three of those. This is a multivitamin, three of those. This is vitamin uh, E, nope, yep. No, vitamin K, sorry. Uh, and then you have vitamin C. This is a joint supplement, two of those. This is the vitamin E. Uh, this is another vitamin D, I take two of them. Uh, this is Arjuna. This is, I'm sorry, turmeric, Arjuna. Then we have uh, a digestive enzyme by Now Foods. This is bioperine. And then I take two of these Omega Via EPAs. All right, guys, well, that's beards, barbells, and breakfast with your boy. So, heart healthy, handsome, and hungry. Check out.